The next step we're going to talk about, or the next thing we'll talk about, is the main process of how we make biodiesel in a production setting. And to do that, I have a chart up here, or a graphic. We're going to refer to this here for a little bit. What we do to make biodiesel, in theory, we've talked a little bit about the chemistry, but now it's time to the fun. We basically get something to heat the oil with. All you need to make biodiesel is heat, something to mix, and then the chemicals, okay? So we're going to get waste vegetable oil or new vegetable oil. In most cases where people are making it themselves, they're making it from waste vegetable oil that they got from Bill and Bob's diner or something like that. You're going to put it in something, and you're going to heat that something up to about 130 to 135 degrees Fahrenheit. People have used 55-gallon drums. They've used water heaters. They've used stainless steel equipment. I mean, the sky's the limit, but basically it's just a heated mixer. You're then going to do something called a titration. A titration is nothing more than finding out how acidic the oil is because we're going to need extra lye to counteract any acid that's in there if we want the biodiesel to be made. We're going to figure out how much lye we need. We're then going to add that lye to the methanol in a separate container in a mixing tub and we're going to produce something called methoxide. Fancy word for saying I took lye and I mixed it with methanol. Once we get that mixed, we're going to take that mixture and we're going to pour it into the oil. Now the reason we mix it before we put it in there is lye or potassium hydroxide comes in a solid form and we want to dissolve it into something such as methanol. We want it to be a liquid so that when it hits that oil, it's going to react because a solid and a liquid don't react. So that's why we're getting this, uh, mixing it together prior. <clears throat> we then put it in this heated mixer and we mix it for a while. We mix the oil together, we mix the methanol together, we mix all that together for some time. And then we turn the mixer off and we let that separate. What happens is the glycerin molecules then fall down to the bottom and we're left with biodiesel, which looks like this. So you get biodiesel on the top and you get glycerin on the bottom. We then drain off the glycerin, because we don't want that, because that's what we're getting out of there and we're left with biodiesel that still has some excess catalyst in it, it has excess methanol, and it's going to have some other excess things in it that we need to get rid of. Well, how are we going to get rid of it? We're going to wash it. Now this is going to sound really weird to people with diesel engines, but we wash it with water. Trust me, it works. It'll work. We're not going to trash your engine with this. We, we spray it with water. What's going on chemically is methanol and lye like water more than they like oil. So those chemicals are going to attach to the water. The water is going to pull out those impurities. And what we're going to be left with is finished biodiesel that's nice and cleansed. We're then going to pull the water off, because water and oil don't like each other, and transfer it into another container. And then we're going to allow it to dry. So. Those of you that were wondering if we we're going to put water in the diesel, no, we're not. We're going to dry it first. And there's a drying process. There's various ways to do it. We can test for dryness. Once it's dry and it's done, it'll typically look like this. Notice it's a beautiful amber color. Just really nice. And then we put this in the fuel tank and we start the engine, we drive away. So this is the basic method that we go through to make biodiesel. And we'll talk a little bit more about some other things here in a second. We're now going to talk about making a large batch of biodiesel. To do that, we need to talk a little bit more about the math. You'll notice that I'm wearing safety gear now, and it's important because I'm going to be dealing with some chemicals, such as lye and potassium hydroxide or methanol. We all kind of hate wearing safety gear. It kind of feel like it gets in the way, but it's important to do. And so when we make biodiesel, we always wear our safety gloves, we wear a safety apron. I'm going to be donning some beautiful safety goggles. But let's talk about how we make it. First of all, we're going to play like we're going to start with 10 liters of oil. Okay? We then times that number by 0 0.20. And that's going to tell us how much methanol we're going to get. That is 2. Okay? So we're going to add 2 liters of methanol. Now, there's some out there, if you read on the internet, you'll see 0.22 for 22 percent. 20 to 22 percent is going to make biodiesel. So just I use 0.2 because it's easy. 
we need to know how much lye or catalyst we're going to use. And to do that, we need to do something called a titration. We're using new oil today, so we don't have to do this. Later on, we'll explain what a titration is, but it's basically how acidic the oil is so we know how much extra lye to add. But in a perfect world with perfect oil, we're going to be adding, if you're using sodium hydroxide, and its chemical symbol for those out there is NaOH, which is commonly called lye, is 5.5 grams per liter. Okay, so for 10 liters of oil, we will add 55 grams of lye. If you're using potassium hydroxide, which is KOH, potassium, Hydroxide, my writing stinks, but I'm sorry. You'll be using 7.5 grams per liter or 75 grams. Now you'll also see out on the internet this is a 3.5, you'll see it as 5, you'll see it as 5.5. The number I use is 5.5, usually basing it off of the fact that a little bit more is going to kick it over the edge. So if you're using lye, it's always 5.5 grams per liter. If you're using potassium hydroxide, it's 7.5 grams per liter. So with that, our basic formula for our 10 liters of oil, is we're going to have 10 liters oil. We're going to have 2 liters methanol. And we're going to play with potassium hydroxide. So we're going to say 75 grams of KOH, okay? Heat it, mix it, let it settle, drain the glycerin off, you're going to have biodiesel. We're now going to make a little tiny mini batch, but we're, our numbers are going to be a little bit different. Instead of doing 10 liters, we're going to use 1 liter. And so all this kind of drops down, so 1 liter of oil, 0.2 liters of methanol and 7.5 grams of KOH. Pretty easy math. This is why I like liters because it makes the math real easy. You can convert this over to gallons if you want. Uh, you just have to do some funny math in your head and keep things out there. I, I just like to use this. So we're now going to make a batch of biodiesel.